Hi, I'm Mrs. Owens, and Goofy and I have a story for you today all about bugs, one of my favorite topics. Which way does it look right? It must be this way. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at one of my favorite stories. This is all about bugs. Okay, what are they? They walk, they crawl, and swim, and fly all over the world. There are more of them than any other kind of animal on Earth, and they have been around for over 350 million years. What are they? Can you find them in there? I see a grasshopper. Yeah, and some other ones hiding. What makes an insect an insect? Let's take a look. For one thing, it has a special body. All insects have hard shell on the outside called an exoskeleton. The shell protects the little insect just like metal armor protects a knight. An insect's body also has three body parts. It has a head, a middle section called a thorax, and an abdomen. These three body parts are easy to see on one insect that everyone knows, the ant. Do you see the ant? You can see the three body parts, the head, the thorax, and the abdomen. The legs always come off the middle, the thorax. So there's the ant. You see a ladybug and a grasshopper and even a cricket. People have two legs, dogs and cats have four legs, but insects, they have six. Go ahead and you count them. Some legs are good for jumping far, others are perfect for climbing, grabbing, running, or swimming. Most insects have two or four wings, and just like most legs, they are different kinds of wings the dragonfly's wings are perfect for flying fast and making quick turns in the midair. But a beetle's wings are different. One pair is thick and leathery to protect the second pair of delicate flight wings. Look at those different wings. Just like we look different, so don't the bugs. As you can see, bugs are a lot different from you and me. And speaking of seeing, did you know that insects have two different types of eyes? And insects simple eyes are called ocelli, can only sense light. Their larger compound eyes can see objects and animals and their movements. A housefly, boy, I've got a lot of those right now. A housefly's compound eyes have thousands of little parts called lenses. Each lens sees a piece of a bigger picture. What would an apple look like to a fly? Hmm. That's a nice big beetle. What is sticking out of that bug's head? What is sticking out of its head? Well, those are the feelers or of antennae. All insects have two of them. They help touch, taste, and smell the world around them. Where in the world do insects live? Everywhere. They fly through the air and walk on the ground. They dig in the dirt and hide under rocks. They climb through the trees and swim in the water. Some insects even live in your home. Look at that. Beautiful. See the butterfly? You recognize those bees and ants? All types of bugs or insects. People live together in groups called families. Some insects live together in groups too. Ants, bees, and termites live in groups called colonies. Each member of an insect group has a special job. Some find and gather food, some build and dig, others take care of their young, their baby. What do insects eat? Huh. 
Some eat leaves and stems from plants and trees. Munch. Others suck nectar and juice from flowers and fruit. Slurp. Some insects like to eat other insects. Crunch. Some insects drink blood from other animals like you and me. Ouch. Other insects like the cockroach and fly eat garbage, animal waste, and other dead things. Yuck. But they recycle garbage to keep the earth clean. So they help us by eating the dirt and the garbage. But sometimes they suck our blood. Have you ever had a bug bite? Whew, sometimes they can really hurt. How do insects talk to each other? How do insects talk to each other? Am ants communicate through smells. They use odors to warn their nest mates of danger to lead them to food. Other insects send messages with movement. When a bee finds food, it will leave a little dance in the nest to tell the other bees it's time to eat. Many insects communicate with sounds. Male field crickets chirp by rubbing their wings together to attract a female cricket. Fireflies find each other with a flash of light. Can you see the flash of light there? I can. How do insects protect themselves? Wasps use poison stings to fight off their predators. Other insects wear special armor. A few insects, like the stink bugs, spray stinky liquids at their enemies. There are skunks. They are the skunks of the insect world. Many insects have colors that bend with places, blend in with places they live. This is called camouflage. Can you find the insects that color helps hide them in the page? Ooh, take a look. Can you see that bug that's green on the leaves? How about those guys? They blend right in. That's called camouflage. How does an insect grow up? It's a little different than you and I. All insects hatch from eggs. As they grow, they get bigger and begin to look more like their parents, just like you do. The change that insects go through from egg to adult is called metamorphosis. Can you say that, metamorphosis? That means it changes its shape. There are different kinds of metamorphosis. Some insects change by just growing bigger. Others grow wings, and there are some insects, such as butterflies, that change so much that the adult looks nothing like the young one. So here, the adult butterfly lays eggs on the leaf. It hatches out to a caterpillar, and then it turns into the pupa, which then turns into the adult. Amazing. That's all one insect. That's all the monarch butterfly. Here's some facts I bet you didn't know about insects. Flies can taste with their feet. When in flight, a mosquito beats its wings 300 times in a second. The water strider can actually walk on water. That's that guy there. A flea can jump over 200 times its own length. One ladybug can lay up to 1,500 eggs in her lifetime. Cockroaches are so smart, they've learned to run mazes in laboratories. Whoop, I didn't know that. The giant water bug has been known to eat tadpoles and small fish. A dragonfly can fly as fast as 30 miles per hour. Some beehives have 50,000 bees. A cricket can hear with its legs. Gosh, I think insects are so cool, don't you? Wow, that's a close-up view using a magnifying glass. Let me see if I have a magnifying glass here. Oh, I sure do. This is how I look for bugs. I go outside and I look for bugs with magnifying glass and see what I can see. This makes them look bigger for me to find them. All right, good luck looking for bugs this week. I hope you liked our story. I know I did. Have a great day, everyone. This has been Mrs. Owens.